Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV. So I'm back again with the, the continuing problem with my electric slide. Back in uh, about mid January, I had a problem with the, the gearbox in here. Inside here, there's a couple gears, and one of them was a, a kind of a vinyl, plasticky gear, and a part of the, the teeth had been rubbed off so my slide wouldn't wouldn't go in or out anymore the motor would just spin so at the time i was able to locate a replacement gear uh, the replacement gear was metal so i figured okay that's going to be good um, plastic gear must have just wore out and actually the slide worked okay but i noticed uh one difference before when it hit the end of its travel it would make kind of a click 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 sound like you know a ratcheting sound like if, if you have a, a drill or a an impact driver um, but on on the other end it wouldn't do that it would just kind of make a a quick grinding sound so i'm like mm, something's going on there so i kind of lived with it and eventually it uh, went back to the same problem again where it wouldn't move the slide so I bet that uh, metal gear actually ended up wearing out as well. Unfortunately, the gear that's causing the problem is called a clutch gear, and that's what's supposed to make the ratcheting sound on these motors. And uh, it's not working in one direction for some reason. It's just locking up. So rather than ratchet, it, uh, it grinds the gears. Couldn't find that gear anywhere online, so kind of want to get my slide working so I got a, a brand new motor and uh, gearbox they come all, all as one piece and it's an LCI or Lippard this one is the replacement for this one you can see it's got LCI embedded there everything's identical there is another one that's quite common called Ventura but mine is an older rig, 2011, and it, and it used this, this gearbox and motor rather than that other one. So I think that's part of the reason I couldn't find both gears as well. So easy install. All it does is it fits on to uh, the shaft um, that drives the worm gear, that drives the slide in and out. I have a rack and pinion electric type slide, so that thing in there turns and uh, in she goes and out she goes there's one bolt here fits into here it's a 5 8 bolt you just fit that on and put that in place and then there's your negative and positive wires to uh, to uh, install with say uh, butt connectors pretty easy install so I'm going to install that get my slide working and then I'll take this thing apart and show you exactly what's up with that uh, that clutch gear mechanism. Also, this is for um, if you want to get be able to manually do your slide, you can get a uh, a socket on there and uh, do it. But I found it took forever with a socket. There wasn't enough space in there to use it, um, so I ended up just taking it off and I put my uh, electric drill on there, power drill, and it actually worked pretty good at getting the slide in and out. But I don't want to be going under the RV all the time to do that, so. And replace the motor so my motor sits kind of opposite of the slide out on the other side on this side some of the rigs will actually have a hole in here that you can put in a long kind of a manual crank mechanism you can feed it in there and crank it in and out manually but mine actually just has an access point to, to get a ratchet on that bolt I showed you so let's get underneath here and I'll show you. So here we are, access covers off. I just gorilla tape it back in place when I'm finished. So I've got the motor assembly gearbox mounted on the shaft that goes to the slide out mechanism. And I've got my bolt in and I'll just tighten that up. These ratcheting wrenches are really handy if you have to get into really tight spots where you can't get a, a normal ratchet in it. I find these really handy. Got a set for around the RV. Okay, that's about it. All mounted and I just soldered the wires together there. Red to red, black to black. Looks like we're ready to test her out. Hopefully be back in business again. 
for a little longer this time. <laughs> so here's the motor gearbox apart. You can see there's two gears. This is the gear I replaced right here. It had a plastic gear in there. This was kind of a sacrificial gear in case something goes wrong. Anyway, this uh, motor turns when you switch one way the polarity, the DC polarity changes and it goes forward and reverse. Spins that gear and then that gear spins this gear which is what turns the the corkscrew for the slide motor gearing. Now this gear here is what I think has failed. You can see right here it's got uh, kind of a spring-loaded three clips here and uh, it's done up by a, a, a kind of a ring clamp there. So at a certain point, if it gets uh, too much torque on it, those springs, those spring clips move. And you can see the indent right there. Usually it'll sit in that indent, but if there's too much torque, it springs out. And that's what, he, when it's spinning, that's when you hear the click, clack, 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 clack at the end of the travel usually. Usually when it's the slide is all the way out, or all the way in, it'll click. What was happening with this one for me is it would work when I went all the way out at the end of travel, I'd, I'd hear it functioning normal. But when it came in all the way, it wouldn't click. It must have, uh, there must be something wrong with this clutch and it would, it would just stick. And instead, this gear would, would, uh, would slide along the teeth and eventually it's going to fail. Of course the plastic one failed almost instantly. This metal one that I replaced actually lasted a few months because mostly it would work just at the end of travel I would hear it grind and I'd back right off on the switch. Anyway, I couldn't really find this particular gear anywhere so I was uh, forced to replace the whole motor. But anyway, that's the story. And then just an update to the last video where I replaced the gear. Uh, one of the commenters linked me to this site, Tucson RV Brakes, um, and they actually had the original plastic gear you can see here. So a lot of times this thing just fails on its own. The plastic will crack and it will split and come apart. And a lot of times you just have to replace this one. So it's a little more expensive than the steel gear, but you would probably retain the fact that it's plastic and it's kind of a more of a sacrificial piece you put the metal gear in you could risk uh, grinding down the the spindle gear on the motor so just uh update there <clears throat> and also i really went through lippard's uh, site and uh, there is a replacement gear set but it's for their venture motor here which looks like this which comes in a lot of the the newer ones newer than my rig my rig was built in 2010 so it has the older Tucson motor, but this one is the Adventure actuator high-speed motor. Anyway, um, if anybody actually comes across that clutch gear, um, I'd be interested. I looked all over um, Google and that, and I couldn't find anywhere that uh, anybody was selling that particular gear, but I'd be interested if someone did know. Until next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Cheers, everyone.